shalom. Love from love, oh from hope, peace from our Prince of Peace, mercy from mercy, joy from joy. That is what our Lord God is. All of those are his names and he is so much more. And these are the days for the whitest dove of love to come forth as the most regal eagle of the eons to tear down uh, to tear down distortionality as it was promised in Matthew 17, 11, during the restoration of all things, um, so that we will finally have a compass that will point us to the truest path of love. And so this has been foretold as the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word was only closed until the time of the end. It says so, Daniel 12, 9. And that is what God is doing now because uh, these are the days of Christ's words coming alive. That if these days were not cut short by his word anew, that no flesh could be saved. It is only the word of God only that could possibly cut time short, people. So it's the change that is reflected in Revelation 3. Because these are the days of the trial of all flesh come to bring God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change by his love. This is what the Bible has said that we must beat our sword into the sickle, the sickle of his love. I am publishing the everlasting gospel that brings the sickle of his love. And God has never done anything important in this world unless he sent forth a writer. Uh, Moses predicted me, saying that uh, one like him would come forth, a kingdom age covenant giver. I've given the kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 to all mankind as to who it was correctly always addressed. And for that reason, the Lord is saying, I will be your God, you will be my people, I will forgive your iniquity, I will never remember it. I'll write my law and my love on your heart, beyond that no one will ever even need to be taught of me anymore. For all people of love who keeps their love alive as a child shall be saved and everlasting life is their inheritance. And so the Lord is encouraging us to, to renew our strength so that we can mount up on eagle's wings and so that he can cover uh, us over so that we can be uh, able to find refuge. And so praise the Lord that the Lord is doing much in this world that people have not been aware of. And uh, one thing for sure, that the eagles, uh, they don't take no lessons from chickens. Uh, and they know how to soar where no one has gone before. Because they understand uh, all people of uh, majesty understand that life without liberty is like a, a body without a spirit and also they realize that uh, we, we don't measure anyone's success by how high they climb but by how high they will bounce when people hit their bottom and so it's time to realize that uh, this is love if you want to know what love is it is to fly towards a secret sky because the Lord is calling deep, calls unto deep, you see. Love calls unto love. And when a storm is coming, people of love must realize that all other birds seek shelter. It is really the eagle alone who avoids the storm by flying far above it. So in the storms of life, it's time that, that we need to make our hearts soar like, like eagles. And we need to fly like an eagle and let the spirit of love take us. And uh, it, it's also gospel truth that all birds find shelter during the rain. But the eagle avoids the rain because he does fly above the clouds. And that attitude makes all the difference in the world. And so praise the Lord that in these days of Elijah, it is clear that when then when eagles are sent forth unto us, uh, the parrots, uh, unlike parrots, they don't just chatter. They got heavy and deep stuff to, to get across to us. So praise the Lord and it's time to realize that only eagles fly alone. So don't be afraid of being outnumbered because pigeons flock together, but eagles, they are a lone wolf. So in these days of the lion and the lamb, these are the days of the dove and the eagle. 
and he uh, uh, flies higher than people have imagined. So it's time that we, we must stop letting the ugly within others kill the beauty within us. And it's time for retrospect because eagles do not fly with pigeons. If you're a pigeon, be an eagle. And if you're a lamb, be a lamb. And the Lord wants the characteristics of the regal, eagle of the eons to come forth. And so it's time to praise him endlessly. And uh, because he has so much planned for us and it brings forth a time of discovery and it is written plainly on the tablets when people hear the reading of this writing that was written plainly on the tablets so those who hear it may run because the kingdom age has dawned. That a writer has come line by line, precept by precept, with the end time revelator come forth uh, with new scripture. <laughs> Red letter time again with God's word not closed anymore. And then shall come the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, as the canons of closed religion open to receive that which is prophesied. Otherwise, they are all totally, they're obsolete if they won't even hear the word of love. So know that in these days of the dove's discovery, that emptiness of thought uh, will always bring forth the fullness of ignorance. And there is no darker gross darkness than ignorance of love alone. And just as the desire not to know about this prophesied word uh, is in the heads of a lot of religious people, but they are the proud, the arrogant, who have no ground to stand upon. Uh, for these are the days of the refiner's fire of Malachi coming forth. And it's time that we, that love, our beloved love of the ages through his most regal eagle, he is letting us know that only the word of love can reinforce endless lack of imagination about the great distance that our Father of Lights wants his people of love to go in creating a good relationship between themselves and others, which automatically makes our relationship with him unified uh, if we stand together in love with all people. Uh, because only by doing that shows ourselves approved unto our Lord of love through our increasing hunger and knowledge about his everlasting divine oneness and his infinite holy justice. For these are the days when it must be understood that the singularity of multiplicity is found within the trinity of one. And the truth is that mercury, when it's in three, four pieces, is mercury. And when it's in one piece, it's mercury. In between, it's mercury. And that's all it is, is mercury. God is like that. Water, steam, and ice, it's, it's all H2O. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they are one. Um, the um, doctrine of secession is wrong. It always has been wrong. Jesus is sits seated on the right hand of the Father, which was just an archaic way of saying uh, that with all honor and majesty that uh, Jesus would have from God. But there is only one throne, and it is his great white throne, because truly, truly, I say unto you, Isa Yeshua, Jesus is Jehovah Nisi. He is our. He is Adonai, he is Elohim, he is the many, he is the one, he is our love of the ages, and he is roaring louder than ever before. And so know that we need to awake from pitiful states of unknowing, because such prevents many prideful religious people from ever being able to view our living Lord God of love with the fullness of, of his character of benevolence and charity and adoration uh, for us uh, as as if we miss that it's because we can't see the forest for the trees so it's time that we do a uh, full circle and erase childhood tapes and know know that he is our beneficent magnificent is he and is such knowledge of the lord's purity is far beyond the definition of Bible. 
we need to understand. For only the light of knowledge, the brightest thereof, can overtake the darkness of our own ignorance, which easily has always caused God's people to perish because of their lack of knowledge. Uh, that brings forth a lack of illumination that destroys any divine vision that people might have embraced as their beacon of hope. So I call upon all people to be a believer in love, for love our beloved thereof, the, who is the blessed, the beloved, and the adored. For our beloved so loved the world that he gave his only begotten love, so whosoever would love as a child and not commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit uh, shall never perish but have everlasting love and everlasting life, saith the Lord God Almighty. So let everyone under the great umbrella of love now realize that the Lord's re revealed titles will never end, uh, and they will be like rainy showers fall that once fell upon the earth. It's time to be refreshed by the news of his name, for he alone is the charitable, the benevolent, and the maleficent, and because he is the giver of all uh, philanthropy. And it's time that we get along with that message because that message of his charity to one and all of us will save us all one heart at a time. Turn on your love. Amen.